Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to our active fitness class. We're recording this session today and uh, so for folks that may be watching the recording, it is Christmas season right now. So you may play it in the summer if you wish, but uh, you'll see some Christmas decorations and we have Christmas music as well. So as a reminder, we um, always work at our own level. Take a break whenever you need to. Please let us know if you're not feeling well. Hydrate throughout the class. Um, just work at your own pace, but I'll be asking you to try and measure how much exertion you're putting out on a scale of four to eight-ish. So try and get that heart rate up throughout the cardio session. We'll cool down after that, and then we'll work on our core and some balance and some um, resistance training. So let's get started with a warm-up. Welcome to folks at home as well. Let's take it to a wide march. And bring it in. One more time wide. Step it in, step up. We're gonna get all loosened up and warmed up. Take your arms behind. Good, four more. And a march. Let's take those arms, big circles. Circle backwards. Out in front. Back to toe tap. And a heel down. Just a reminder, if you can't do both arms and legs, just get those feet to start. Let's tap it to the corner. Out to the side now. And we'll tap it to the back. With a gentle arm swing, loosening up those shoulders. Kick back. The hamstring loop. And we'll take it to a knee up. Four, three, two, step it in. And we're going to take two steps this way next time. Here we go, two steps. Small circle. Four. And a mark. Just roll the shoulders forward. Roll them back. And again, a little swim. Let's plant the feet. Couple squats. Getting the glutes warmed up. One more. Big breath. Big circles. Other way. Arms stay wide. Elbows in front. Two more. Let's open and close the hands. And we'll do a little wave. Take it to a toe tap. Kneel down. To the corner. We're going to lift it out to the side. And lifting to the back. And a kick back. Wide knee this time, opposite hand to knee. You can take it to a foot if you're able. In four, we'll 
take it behind. Three, two, take it behind. Last four. Three, two, let's stay wide. Wide squat, opening up the hip. Two more. Last one. Walk it in. All righty. Grab yourself a drink of water. And we're going to start with our first cardio. Okay. Let's start with the step tuck. We're taking two steps this way next time, right here, two steps. And a circle with those arms. You can keep it nice and easy, two little steps, small arms, or take it bigger, whatever works for you. Good, we're gonna add a kickback on the corner, and a bicep curl. All righty, next time, this side, we're doing three kickbacks. Here it is. Three, two, one, two steps. Three, two, one, again. Good, two more. Next one, hold it here. Stay here. You can keep it light with the tap. You can pick it up. You can bend those knees. Yoo-hoo, how we doing? All right. Last four. And three. Two more. March it out. We're taking two steps this way. In four, three, two, here we go. That's the jingle bell. Push and pull the arms. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. All righty, we're going to try a knee up. Knee up. Or keep it to a tap. Just a tap when you need to. Or knee up. Good. Next time we're over here. Three knees. Here it is. Three, two, one, two step. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We got two more. Hold the knees in front. In front. Coming tight. You can tap, you can do a knee, you can lift that whole leg. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, march. Two steps, in four, three, two, here we go. All right, we're going to do three kickbacks on one corner, three knees on the other. Kickbacks right here. Three, two, one. Three knees over here. Three kickbacks. Three knees. Again. More each side. One more set. Hold the knees. Stay here. Take it wide. Pop the hands and knee. You can keep it easy. 
or bigger. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, kick back. Eight more. Last four. Three, two, march it out. Take a breath. Other way. All righty, we're going to keep going. Everybody good? All right. Okay. Let's try a one, two, three tap. Here we go. For one, two, three in the tap. Tap, one, two, three in the tap. Good, all right, we're gonna try and move it up. In four, and three. Two more, one more. Up we come, one, two, three in the tap. You can stay on the spot when you need to. All right, you can keep it to a tap or add a knee up. You can add some arms or not. Good, we got four more. Three. Hold the knees, hold the knees. Keep it here. Last four. Three. Two. And a mark. One, two, three, side tap. One, two, three, side tap. Side tap. Nice long reach if you're able, or keep it easy. You can keep it light or reach. We're going to try and move it up in four. And three. Two. Bring it up. One, two, three, in the tap. You can keep it just nice and easy. You can stay on the spot or take it longer. Four more. Last two. We're going to hold the side tap. Stay here. Stay here with the tap. Keep it light. Take it wide. We're going to double up these taps in four, three, two. Here we go for two. You can lift it or tap it. Four more doubles. One more set. Singles. For four, three, two, and a mark. For one, two, three, heel dig. Here we go. For one, two, three, and a heel. Heel dig. Good. Next time on this side, we're moving. Here it is. For one, two, three, and a heel. You can stay tall. You can get low. How are we doing? All right, you should be feeling like that heart rate's getting up there. Working on your level, between four and eight. Four more. We're gonna hold those heels. Stay here, stay here, you can stay tall. You can get down. Four, eight, seven. And six, five, four, six, two, and a mark. One, two, three, toe tap. One, two, three, toe tap. Toe tap. Move it up. Last two. 
All right, have a sip of water. Let's take our ball. We're gonna keep those feet tapping. All right, let's go around our gym. If you're in your own space at home, you can just go around your room or on the spot. We'll pass the ball the other way. Let's draw a circle in front. Circle the other direction. We're gonna hold it here, hold it here with a punch. Get low if you're able. You can stay tall when you need to. Pick it up. Reaching up if you're able. Take it down, switch the hands. Take it up. Bring it in, knees up. Round we go, other way, knees up. Change it to a kickback, keep going. All right, let's hold it here. Stay here. Cut to a swing. Wide feet, nice strong arm. We're gonna switch the hand. Bring it in, round the waist. All right, knees up. We're going to go into the center in four, three, two, and we go. For four, three, two, bring it back. For four, three, two, again. Back it up. One more time. Back it up. Stay here with a kickback. And we go with a kickback.
Back to your spot. Back to your spot. You can put that ball down. Take a drink. We're going to keep going if we can. Okay. Let's try our rocking horse. So we do left heel, right toe. Heel. So, tap. Tap. Try and get that forward and back motion. Rocking horse. Tap. Tap. Now you can stay here or pick it up with a knee and a kick. It is your choice. You can do one or the other. Try and be strong. Pull those arms. Pull them down. Pull. Four. Three. Two. March it out. We'll switch sides. Right heel. Left toe. Here we go. Heel. Toe. Tap. Tap. Heel. Toe. Try and do that rocking motion. When you're able. Back and forth. Tap and tap. Pick it up three times. Up and back. Or keep it to a tap. Pull those arms. Pull them down. Pull. Last four. Three. Two. March it out. Good. Step tap. We're going to do four step touches, four knees on the corner. Four. Three. Two. Four knees. Four. Three. Two. Then we'll do four. Four knees over here. Four center. Four knees. Center. Four knees. We're going to move back and forth. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Four knees at the back. There's the front. To the back. For four. Three. Two. Four knees. Four. Three. Two. Try it again. Four. Three. Two. Knees up. Back. Four knees. Hold the center. Stay here. Stay here. Last four. Three. Two. To the march. Back to our rocking horse. Left heel, right toe. Heel. So pick it up when you're able. Purple. And three. Last two. Mark. Other side. Right heel, left toe. Here we go. Heel. Toe. Tap. And tap. Pick it up any time. Yahoo! Last four. And three. Two. And a mark. Back to step touch. Four step touches, four heels on the corner. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Four heels. Four. Three. Two. Center. For four. Three. Two. Four heels. Four. Three. Two. And center. Four heels. Center to four. Four heels. We're going to move with the next set. Move it up for four. Three, two, four heels at the front. Take it back for four. Three, two, four heels. Move it up. Four. Four heels. Take it back. Hold it here. Hold the 
center. Bring it across. In front. Last four. Three. Two. All right. We're going to do one more cardio. You can take a drink anytime. Keep those feet moving. One more cardio if we can. Let's start off with a few squats. So down and up. You can do a lot an easier squat. Just squatting. You can reach down and up. Get as whatever works best for you. Last four. We're going to take two wide steps this way. In four, three, two. Here we go. Wide. Wide. Take it back. And over. And back. Two more. And march. All right. We're going to do four little run steps this side. In four, three, two, here we go. Four, three, two, and over. Four, three, two, and over. Four, three, two, and back. Four, three, two, and over. For four, three, two, and back. Four, three, two, one more. Four, three, two, and a march. Back to our squats. Whatever level works best for you. That heart rate is up there. Make sure you're breathing. Four. Last one. Mark. Wide steps right here. Here we go. And back. And over. Again. Last two. And a little march. Let's take a breath. Other way. All right. Four little steps this way. In four. Three. Two. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And back. Four. Three. Two. And over. Four. Three. Two. And back, four, three, two, and over, four, three, two, and back, two more. Last one. Again with the march. All right, let's get low with our march. You can stay tall any time. Four, three, two, stand up. Take it wide. Get low if you're able. Four, three, two. Bring it in. Get low. Move it up. Take it back. One more time. Stand up. Take it wide. Go low. Bring it up. Take it up. And up. The last time back. Bring it in. Woo, big breath. Out of the way. Good job. Two wide steps. In four. Three. Two. Here we go. Four little runs. Here we go. Four, three, two, and back. Four, three, two, and back. Four, three, two. Last time. Four, three, two, two wide steps. This way. 
And back. And over. Last time. Four little runs. Four, three, two, and over. Four, three, two, last two. Here we go. Four, three, two, one more. Four, three, two. We're good. Fantastic. Grab a drink. Woohoo! That's a Christmas cardio right there. All right. Woo, we got to work on getting that heart rate down a little bit. So this is Christmas. Keep those feet and tapping a wee bit. Tap the toe. Woo, try to slow down that breathing. Begun. Nice big breath. So Again. All right, we're going to keep those arms low now. Gentle swing. Gentle side tap. Gentle tap to the back. And a little kick back. Keeping it light. Gentle knee lift. And a step touch with an arm sway. Last pull. Three, two, little mark. Let's roll the shoulders forward. Roll the shoulders back. All right, couple squats again. This time, those legs are strong. They're all warmed up. You can try to go a little lower. Whatever you're able. Nice strong legs here. Butt back, knees behind the toes. Head and neck in alignment. Two more. Good. Toe tap. Let's go around in our own little space for the toe tap. Heel dig. Let's turn around and walk on our toes. Tip toe walk in a circle or in your own spot, wherever you like. If you can, walk backwards on those tip toes. If you can't, you stay going forward. If you can, heel walk forward. Heel walk forward. And again, if you're able, heel walk backwards. You can keep going forward anytime. Back to your spot. The point the toe. Point. Stretch. Stretch. Heel down. Bring that toe way up. Stretching that cap. Side tap. Gentle back tap. Gentle kick back. And a little knee lift as well. Step tap with a slip. Last four. Three. All right. Everybody feeling well? We feel like that heart rate has come down. Let's grab our equipment. We'll take it to our spot. We're going to be using weights, a flex bar, a ball, and a resistance band. Let's start with our band. Do some 
upper body work. And lots of legs here. So let's try some upper body. We'll take it under, or sorry, mid to upper back. You can leave it under the arm or on the outside. Your choice. A little bit more resistance on the outside. But sometimes you prefer it underneath. That's all good. We have soft knees. Our feet are about hip width apart. Shoulders are back and down. Thumbs are up. Big tree hug right here. Rounding out that upper back. We're going to strengthen our upper body here. Make sure you're breathing out on exertion. So breathe out. Breathe in. Out. And in. You can slow it right down. Slow and controlled. Really helps with those muscles. Prevents injury. You're taking your time. We'll do four more this way. Strengthening through the chest and the upper back. Good. All right. Let's take the band. Take one end. The other halfway down onto one hip. We have our shoulders back and down as always. Soft knees. Out to the side. Put the band. Straight out by the shoulder, straight out, strengthening the upper body here, soft knees, protecting the back, four more of this side, good, let's switch to the other side, just so we don't forget which one we did, the shoulders are down, out we go. Nice long reach with that arm if you can. Tight band. Last four. Release it. Take those shoulders out. We're going to do a tricep now. So take the end of your band again. Take it behind the back. You're going to grab it part way up. The higher you go, the more resistance. You find a spot that works best for you. We have soft knees, elbow high. Extend that forearm up and down. Strengthening through the back of the arm, that tricep muscle. Really important muscle to keep strong. So you can push yourselves up off of low feet. Four, three, two. Release it. <clears throat> we gotta do the other side. Again, at whatever resistance you feel you need. One side is probably different than the other. Reach it up. Strengthening that tricep. Straight up behind the head if you can. Four. Three. Two. Release it. Take it out. Take it out. We're going to repeat those. Let's try that. Three hug one more time, under or over the arm. Shoulders down and back. Out we go. Nice big rounding of the back. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Two more. Do our shoulder, end of the band, one on your hip, out to the side. Good. Last one this side. Let's switch her over. Try the other side. Two more. Good, all right, let's do biceps instead of triceps. We're gonna step on our band. Step on your band with two feet. Shoulders are back and down, soft knees. One arm at a time. Elbow stays tucked in to the waist. Up and down. Keep that tummy tight. Soft knees. We're gonna try double arms after these two. You can keep on with singles in time. Up, up, down, and down. Up, and down. Your own pace. 
One arm at a time if you need to. Four more. Three. Two more. Ooh, the song keeps going. I guess we got to keep going. Let's alternate. Last set of doubles or not. Singles if you're able. Two more. Last one. Okay, fantastic. You should feel some fatigue in those muscles. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of balance, I think. So we'll take our flex bar. If you don't have a flex bar at home, folks, you don't have to use any equipment. It's just something to have in your hand right at the moment. So we're gonna take one foot forward, the other leg back. The leg that's back is the arm you have the flex bar in. We're gonna reach forward and back. Now you can just keep your feet planted or you could lift the front leg or you could lift the back leg or you could do one at a time. Alternating, it is your choice, what you prefer trying to do a dynamic balance here, transferring our weight from one foot to the other. And a nice long reach with our arm, keep going for our flexibility. Reminder, any folks that may have some bone disorders, please do not overextend any reach. Last two to side. Excellent. All right, let's switch sides. So a nice long reach if you're able. You can keep the feet planted. You could lift one or the other or alternate. Nice long reach again when you're able. Transferring the weight one leg to the other for our balance. got two more. Excellent. Okay, let's do a few squats since we have our flex bar. Again, if you don't have it, you can just do a squat without it. Down we go as we flex that bar. Strengthening those wrists as well as the lower body. Keeping the glutes back. Weight on the heels as we go down. We'll try two more. Good. This time, palms up. Down we go. Squats are absolutely one of the best exercises. It will keep you mobile, keep you independent, keep you strong. Four. Try one more. Bring it in. Take it out. Okay, we're going to keep our flex bar one leg forward. This time, we're bringing our back knee in. Knee in. Again, you can do it without the flex bar. We're just holding it. Knee in. So again, for our balance, this is a static balance because we're staying on that one foot. Four. Three. I want you to try and hold it here. Hold it here. Hold it here if you can. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Always be safe. Stay beside your chair. You can't do it without hanging on. Your chair is right there to hang on to. Let's try the other side. Knee in. Tummy is tight. Strengthening that core, improving our balance. Four, three, two, hold it if you can. Again, hang on to your chair when you need to. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release it. Fantastic. Anytime you can stand on that one foot, 
In a safe space, it will improve your balance and prevent falls. All right, we'll put that down. Let's have a seat for a bit. We'll do a little bit of work on the chair. We're gonna use our band for some outer thigh work. So sitting forward on your chair, the band is under your feet and around the outer thigh, or you can just wrap it around the thighs as well, whatever you prefer. Just gonna hang on to it at the top. We're gonna do some out, out, in, in for the outer thighs. So here we go. Out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, back, back, wide, wide, in, in. One more leading with this side. Then we're going to switch lead legs right here, other side. Out, out, in, in, wide, wide, in, in. Good. Two more. One more. Good, all right, just leave that loose. Pick up one of your weights for a new bit of core work. We're gonna take our weight under and around in the figure eight. Under those legs, up and around, figure eight. Tummy is tight, we're strengthening the core. We got an extra muscle by picking up that nice heavy weight. Around we go, squeeze that tummy. Good. Two more. One more round. All right, put that down. Back to our band. This time we're going to do upper back. So our heels are down, toes are up. We're sitting forward on the chair again. Shoulders down. Thumbs up. Elbows come straight back. Squeezing between the shoulder blades. Upper back, engaging here. Keep the tummy tight again, protect your back. Try and keep those knees slightly soft. Four, three, two, good. All right, we'll keep our band here. We'll back to our outer thighs. This time we're gonna repeat on one side to start. Here we go. Out, in, out, in, wide, and wide. Four more. Four, three, two. Other side, here we go. Out, out. Four more. Getting those outer sides nice and strong. One more. Good. Release it. One weight. All right, you're going to pass it on your leg. Try and go the other direction. If you forget, doesn't matter. <laughs> Under and around. Figure eight. Sideways figure eight. Under and around. Tommy tight. Four more. One more round. Good. Weight down. Upper back. Shoulders down. Core tight. Pull it back. Good. Four more this way. And we're going to alternate the arms right here. One, and switch. Back, pull it nice and far. Back, elbow back, back, back. Four each side, here we go. Four, three, two. Other side. Four, three, 
two. Excellent. All right, release that. Okay, we're going to do a bit more core work while we're here. Okay, let's sit forward on our chair again. Hands behind the back. We're going to take our heel out. Knee in. Repeat the same leg. Heel out. Knee in. Squeezing that core. So important for our core strength, for our balance and our posture. Keep that core strong. Four. Three. Two. Keep it here. Leg out. Up and down. Up and down. Keep it light if you need to. Four. Three. Two. Release. Let that leg loosen up. We're going to do the other side. Heel out. Knee in. In and out. In and out. Strengthening through that tummy. Four. Three. Two. Hold it out if you can. Lift it up. Tummy tight. Keep it light any time. Four. Three. Two. Release. Loosen that leg. Excellent. All right. We're going to do our opposing muscle to the core, which is the low back. So we'll take our weights. We're going to stand up. You don't have to use weights. You can do one or two weights or none. We have the weights on our thighs. Shoulders are back and down, glutes are pushed out. Big breath in. Down we go as we blow out. You don't have to go all the way down. You bring it up as you breathe in. Blow out. Breathe in as you come up. Down we go. Keeping those weights nice and close to the body. Again, head and neck in alignment by looking slightly forward, not down. Whatever level is best for you. Keep your breathing. We'll do four more. more if you can. And one more. Good. Let's keep our weights. We'll do a little power move to strengthen those, both our calves and our shoulders. So up on the toes with the shoulder shrug. Up and down. Up and down. Shrug it up and down. Strengthening through the shoulders and neck. And those calves. Four. Three. Two. Good. Let's just do a slight side bend. So it's a very gentle side bend. And repeat same side. Bringing that weight down to the side of the thigh. It's a very gentle move. Trying to get into the obliques, the side of our core. more this side. One more. This side. Down. Keeping that weight nice and close to the side. Four more. Okay, let's do one more set for the low back. Just a short set. Butt out. Make sure you're breathing. Just going to do four more. And one more. And we'll do our shoulder shrug. Up on the toes. Good. Three more. 
and a gentle side bend. Just four on each side. One more this side. And switch. Last one. Excellent. All right. You can put those weights down. We're going to stretch. Let's start stretching with those big, big muscles, our thigh muscles. We'll bend the knee. You can grab your shoe or sock or not. You can just keep those knees parallel. You want to do a slight pelvic tilt. Keep your back tall. Some nice big breaths here. Stretching through that quad. And we'll take that foot to the knee, the opposite knee. You can do it seated anytime. We squat, we push the glutes back. You're seated, you're gonna sit up tall and a slight lean forward to feel that stretch through the outer thigh and hip area. Good, let's do the other outer thigh and hip while we're here. So we'll switch legs. squat and a push back or a seat sitting slightly forward. Excellent. All right. We'll do the other quad now on this side. Again, whatever way works best for you to get that quad muscle stretch. Keeping the knees parallel, all back and a big breath. All right, so let's stay behind our chair. We'll stretch those lower leg muscles. So one foot under the chair legs, the other leg back. Your heels stay flat, your toes are forward. You're gonna lean into your chair and hold it. Feel that nice stretch through the calf muscle here. And then just go up and push your pelvis forward. Keep the toe on the floor. Feel that nice hip flexor stretch and shin stretch right here. That should feel very good on that lower leg and into the hip flexor. Take one foot, just slight step in. You're going to press the glutes towards the ceiling as you look forward. We're stretching that front hamstring. Weight is on the back leg. We'll bring our two feet together and roll up nice and slow, rounding up the back. Good. Let's do the other leg now. So the other foot under the chair. Back heel stays flat. Lean into your chair. Hold that other stretch. Getting those muscles stretched out. And we'll go up onto the toe. Just push the pelvis forward. Feeling that nice stretch through the hip flexor here. Toe is pointed down. And just bring your foot flat. Just a very small step. Loop press to the ceiling. Look forward. Feel that other hamstring stretch here. Back of the upper leg here. And again, our feet come together as we roll up nice and slow. Head and neck come up last. Just give yourselves a hug and stretch through that upper back and the shoulders. And we'll interlace our hands and round out the upper back. Rotate your hands out, palms out. Bring them up if you can. Let's grab one wrist over to 11 or 1 o'clock. Stretching down to the side of the rib here. Gently switch to the other side. And roll our shoulders back. Roll them forward. And we'll have a nice big breath in a squat. Breathe in. Up to the toes blowing out. Big stretch, one more. 
and up again to the toes. Give your hand, yourselves a hand, folks. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>